I know people who eat this stuff. Do you know what they're called? Women. OK, hand pump, why don't you tell the ladies and gentlemen why you were in hospital? No, I don't like to make a fuss. Let's talk about cars. <laughs> <laughs> it's nothing to do with my anus. Let's just clear that up in case that's crazy. Good morning. Thank you for calling JetBlue. How may I help you? Oh, good morning. My name's Jeremy Clarkson. Um, you have a James May and Richard Hammond booked on this morning's flight from JFK to Buffalo. Sure. Do you have their confirmation number and or can you spell the last names for me? I don't have a confirmation number. What I can tell you is that they've been accidentally booked by the office into business class. Um, that's not company policy for us, so could you drop them back down to economy? Sure. Let me take a look. Okay, I will make this update in the reservation and we will email you a confirmation. Um, is there anything else that we can help you with? No, not for the moment, thanks. Thank you very much. <laughs> I've got to call May, see how they're doing. Who would you like to call? Vagina. I've had to change his name in my contacts. It's not normally Vagina. It's worse than that. The office has provided me with an audio book, which will help me do just that. Here we go. I knew innately that loosening them meant turning them anti-clockwise, a tiny hairspring that contracted... And Sadly, it turned out to be a James May talking book on how to mend things. What I didn't appreciate at the age of five was the facility that the freshly wound mainspring had for completing the disassembly process for me, and as a quantum event at that, Thank you for calling JetBlue. How may I help you? Yeah, I'm really sorry to trouble you again. It's Jeremy Clarkson um, here. I, I spoke earlier about downgrading Mr. May and Mr. Hammond to um, economy class. Yeah. Well, I wonder if I could just tell you in confidence, they've both just come out of rehab. So on the flight, um, could you make sure the attendants don't give them any alcohol? Oh, thank you for letting us know. Um, I will go into the reservation and make a note of this and to get this to our flight crew, but we will make sure to uh, accommodate the special request. OK, thank you for your understanding. Thank you so much. Thanks for calling. Calling vagina. Has he got to go in that? Yes, he is. OK, see you on board. Hello, thank you. Oh, God. It's very unusual having business class at the back, isn't it? Imagine what it's like at the front. It must be sort of like there. I guess it's quite good if you sit at the back of business class, survey the whole aeroplane. <clears throat> this is an Embraer uh, 190. I can tell you a bit about these, actually. Rebecca, prepare for departure. Oh, dear, you can't. He's talking. Hello. Hi. Right. Can we have bit, two beers, please? So, as it turns out, unfortunately, I won't be able to serve you any beer today. Can I offer you a water, Coke, Sprite? One more beer. No, I'm sorry. Wine? wine? Two glasses of wine. wine, wine. I'm not quite too sure why, but unfortunately, I won't be able to. Can I get you some other beverages? Are you seriously saying that point to point, a car is faster than a helicopter? Well, it's faster than your helicopter. You start yours with a cord. You do! But a car is not faster than a helicopter. OK, then, a race, OK? You in your Moulinex Magimix versus me in that Chiron. No, I can't. I'm not allowed to fly it at the moment. Why not? I broke my leg. Oh, here we go again. <laughs> God. So there we are. Because of his astonishing selfishness, there will be no race between his kitchen appliance <laughs> and the Chiron. Oh, hello. 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 Yes. That is speeding things up, isn't it? Isn't it? There you go. What it's doing is catching on. The wind moves it along and it gets bigger. It's quite good. Brilliant. What another bit there, look. Then we told James to come and do his stuff. Relax, I am coming to put out the fire. However, because of his leisurely pace, the fire had grown a bit by the time he got there. Jeez. <sighs> Pressure.
legs, it's too big. I've run out of water. This isn't going to work. I think what we've established here is that he's only capable of putting out fires that he's started himself. Yeah, that are nearby yeah. and contained. Yeah. I haven't got anything left. Luckily, at this point, the real fire brigade arrived. Thank you. Well, that is radical, isn't it? <laughs> yes. Oh, well, they've changed what? Yeah, I don't, well, it's a good question. Uh, anyway, on the inside, they say it has driver-orientated instruments. Well, as opposed to what? Yeah, no idea. <laughs> and they say the central command screen is retina quality. I hope it's not my retina quality. <laughs> It'll be sort of slightly blurry and a bit bloodshot round the edges. But actually, if you defocus my camera, you can see what it would look like. If... <laughs> Actually, <laughs> that's better. Yeah, that's to be honest, better. I wish I had your retina sitting I here do. looking at you. It's better. I do. It's the work, actually, of the man with the best name in the motor industry, in the second best name. Man with the best name is Lamborghini's chief test driver. He's called Max Venturi. Yeah. He, he's never had sex. No, no, no. <laughs> he's young and good looking as yes, well. Yes, I know. Anyway, the guy at Aston, their technical <laughs> officer, is called Max Sluzwadge. What? <laughs> Max Sluzwadge. <laughs> Swatch. No, it's what I said. It didn't. Swatch. No, it's Swatch. you sound like a broken dentist drill. Swatch. Just being racist. I'm not. You what? are. The man's Irish. I'm not being racist. You are just because you want him to be called Paddy O'Malley. I didn't say you can call him. Oh, he's called, he's called Max Swatch. on television. Anyway, we'll gloss over your. I'm frankly... not. I'm not. That is. <laughs> you are going to make that meeting. This is the key to your success. What? Sorry, think of it as a business opportunity. Car to car window replacement. Oh, brilliant. Hold steady, finger extending again. I've got it. Oh, cocking Nora. Yeah, we are pumping gas. Oh, yeah. It works. Oh, shit. What's happened? Hammond right, you're on fire! Bail out! Oh, no! James, you bloody idiot! OK, Hammond, pull up for acrobat number two, please. Right, Joe. The council has decided to risk it, OK? And they asked the people of Dongston to vote on a, a name for it. There are two new sort of snowplough road gritter things, oh, yes? yes? OK? Would you like to hear some of the uh, suggestions people have come up with? Yes, please, Jeremy, we would. Here we go. Uh, grit Van Dyke. <laughs> True Grit. Rule Gritania. I like that. Salt Disney. That's all done. These are the names they've chosen, OK? One of them is going to be called Gritsy Bitsy Teeny Weeny Yellow Anti-Slip Machiney. <laughs> The other one, though, is going to be called David Plowy. That doesn't work. Well, I think they were hoping we'd think it was David Plowy, but it isn't. It's David Plowy. It doesn't work. Oh, yeah, as in snow plow. No. Well, that would work in Birmingham, <laughs> yeah. wouldn't it? I'll get the snow plow the out. Snow plow out. Yeah. Yeah. Well, all right, we'll call this snow. David Plowy then. <laughs> yes. I the marvellous thing is the council, OK, they said this vote cheered the whole of Britain up. Well, it hasn't cheered me. No, it hasn't. And the man from the council said it's got people interested in gritting. Well, it just yeah, hasn't. No, it hasn't. We would be interested in gritting, though, if we'd thought of a name. Yeah, well, we'd just call it Gary Gritter, wouldn't we? That's what I'm saying. Or maybe Isish. That could work. Yeah. <laughs> Gary Gritter or Isish. Do we think those are better names? Oh, hang on. Adolf Gritler. Perfect. <laughs> those are better That's names. That's a good one. We like that. Water's really sticky. You need loads of power. 
I've got a word in my head for all this, and it's impractical. I've got a word. That's it's shut word. up. Right. right. We're going. Is it loud? Very. That's fired up. That's going to drive air into the big engine. We've got to get those in the green. I hate it when you've got buttons. I don't hear anything. Ignition. Oh. I'm going to give it some thrust now. Look at it! Ah! On the upside, there is an upside here. If it's capable of doing that, imagine how fast we're going to go on the lake. You're a cretin. Yes, yes, what? None yes, of this is yes. based on any scientific reasoning whatsoever. You say, it's got a lot of power, how much thrust has it got? A lot! Look what it's done! It's blown two aeroplanes over and given us a massive... Build. Hammond, you idiot! What? What are they? If you say dog in Canada, these are what you get. Newfoundland. I mean, they're enormous. They're not dogs. They're cattle. Yeah. Oh, oh, they're oh, having oh, oh. sex There's, do there's dog you. sex. There's actual dog sex going on. Dog sex. Maybe, maybe we, we should We don't need to see this. In a brief break from the mating, we got on with the test. Up we go. Come on. Come on. Come on. Up in the car. Well, it's a new Range Rover. Come on, dog. Right. Um, there's... No. No. Oh, go. Up we go. In, in we go. The dog has never been in a car and doesn't want to go in one. Right. Sit. Getting another dog. Dog beer. Oh. Yes. Stay. Th oh. uh, um, the Alfa Romeo, not only the sportiest vehicle, but as you can see, perfectly capable of handling a brace of dogs. Oh. Yeah, the problem is, you know electric tailgates? If they sense anything, they'll open. Yes, that's what's... <laughs> So it can't actually it's close. Never gonna, it's not going to stay in, is it? Oh! Biggest dog here is in. You yes, but you try closing. OK, then close your boot lid. <sighs> Go on, then. You see, it won't close because it's electric. <clears throat> what we've established, then, so far, is that these cars are nowhere near as fast as an ordinary car around a racetrack, that you cannot put a medium-sized dog in them because of the electric tailgate. Mm-hmm. And you'll damage them because they've all got painted rear ends and mm -hmm. carpeted boot floor. Let's put the indicator on, and if it's safe to pull out, it does. Put the indicator on to pull back into the central lane, and... <laughs> That's just astonishing. All of this means that I can drive along writing important messages on my sketch pad. Because I know that if the car in front slows down, I'll slow down. If it speeds up, I'll speed up. If the traffic stops, I'll stop. Right, I need to get this going as quick as possible. You lot out of the way. He's not going to do it. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Wrong way. 
way. Better go the other way. Oh, shit, I'm on the, the wrong side. I don't know if I use that. Turn it. Oh, f***ing hell. As Hammond and Ollie were struggling to get into a rhythm... Oh, no, hang up, hang up. No, you got it. Oh, they always come out. Oh. And as it turned out, the Indian Ocean wasn't that deep. <laughs> Where has all the sea gone? We decided to push the boat instead. Any minute now, we're going to start fishing. Right, I think this might actually be working. If they can just get themselves back to here, we've got two ends of a net. Pull it in, full of fish. Ugh! Shit! I've caught myself in the net! Going back oh, to After this calamity... Come and get it! I can't get it! Get it's... it! I can't get we it! We decided that we'd be better off in the boat after all. But actually, it was the ruggedly dependable Mercedes that was the first to crack. Cop, that was going well. What's the matter, man? It cut out when I went through the puddle. There'll be water on something or in something. I'm trying to work out what I can do about that. Nothing. <laughs>